in the medical profession, a general practitioner countries. In urban areas of developed countries their roles tend to be narrower and focused on the care of chronic health problems, the treatment of acute, non-life-threatening diseases, the early detection and referral to specialized care of patients with serious diseases, and preventative care, including health education and immunization. Meanwhile, in rural areas of developed countries or in developing countries a GP may be routinely involved in pre-hospital emergency care, the delivery of babies, community hospital care and performing low-complexity surgical procedures. In some healthcare systems GPs work in primary care centers where they play a central role in the healthcare team. While in other models of care GPs can work as single-handed practitioners. The term general practitioner or GP is common in the Republic of Ireland, the United Kingdom and several Commonwealth countries. In these countries the word physician is largely reserved for certain other types of medical specialists, notably in internal medicine. While in these countries, the term GP has a clearly defined meaning. In North America the term has become somewhat ambiguous and is not necessarily synonymous with the term family doctor or primary care provider as described below. Historically, the role of a GP was once performed by any doctor qualified in a medical school working in the community. However, since the 1950s general practice has become a specialty in its own right, with specific training requirements tailored to each country. The Almorata Declaration in 1978 set the intellectual foundation of what primary care and general practice is nowadays. Asia, India and Bangladesh The basic medical degrees in India and Bangladesh are MBBS, BAMS, BHMS and BUMS. These generally consist of a four-and-a-half-year course followed by a year of compulsory rotatory internship in India. In Bangladesh it is five years course followed by a year of compulsory rotatory internship. The internship requires the candidate to work in all departments for a stipulated period of time, to undergo hands-on training and treating patients. The registration of doctors is usually managed by state medical councils. A permanent registration as a registered medical practitioner is granted only after satisfactory completion of the compulsory internship. The Federation of Family Physicians Associations of India is an organization which has a connection with more than 8,000 general practitioners. Through having affiliated membership, Pakistan in Pakistan, five years of MBBS is followed by one year of internship in different specialties. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council then confers permanent registration, after which the candidate may choose to practice as a GP or opt for specialty training. The first family medicine training program was approved by the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Pakistan in 1992 and initiated in 1993 by the Family Medicine Division of the Department of Community Health Sciences. Aga Khan University, Pakistan, Family Medicine Residency Training Program of Zirdin University is approved for fellowship in family medicine, Europe, France in France, the Medicine Generalista is responsible for the long-term care in a population. This implies prevention, education, care of the diseases and traumas that do not require a specialist, and orientation towards a specialist when necessary. They also follow the severe diseases day to day. They have a role in the survey of epidemics, a legal role, and a role in the emergency care. They often go to a patient's home when the patient cannot come to the consulting room and have to contribute to a night and weekend duty. The studies consist of six years in the university and three years as a junior practitioner. The first year is common with the dentists, pharmacists, and midwifery. The rank at the final competitive examination determines in which branch the student can choose to study. The following two years, called propedutique, are dedicated to the fundamental sciences, anatomy, human physiology, biochemistry, bacteriology, statistics, 
The three following years are called externate and are dedicated to the study of clinical medicine. They end with a classifying examination. The rank determines in which specialty the student can make his internate. The internate is three years or more depending on the specialty of initial professional experience under the responsibility of a senior, the intern can prescribe, he can replace physicians, and usually works in a hospital. This ends with a doctorate, a research work which usually consists of a statistical study of cases to propose a care strategy for a specific affliction. Netherlands and Belgium general practice in the Netherlands and Belgium is considered advanced. The who is its administers first line, primary care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the Netherlands, patients cannot consult a hospital specialist without a required referral. Most GPs work in private practice although more medical centers with employed GPs are seen. Many GPs have a specialist interest, e.g., in palliative care. In Belgium, one year of lectures and two years of residency are required. In the Netherlands, training consists of three years of specialization after completion of internships of three years. First and third year of training takes place at a GP practice. The second year of training consists of six months training at an emergency room or internal medicine, pediatrics or gynecology, or a combination of a general or academic hospital. Three months of training at a psychiatric hospital or outpatient clinic and three months at a nursing home or clinical geriatrics ward, polyclinic. During all three years, a resident get one day of training at university while working in practice the other days. The first year, a lot of emphasis is placed on communications skills with video training. Furthermore, all aspects of working as a GP gets addressed including working with the medical standards from the Dutch GPU Association NHG. All residents must also take the National GP Knowledge Test twice a year. In this test of 120 multiple choice questions, medical, ethical, scientific and legal matters of GP work are addressed. Spain In Spain GPs are officially a specialist as en medicina familia y comunitaria but are commonly called medico de cabecera or medico de familia. Most Spanish GPs work for the state-funded health authority through the regional government. They are in most cases salary-based healthcare workers. For the provision of primary care, Spain is currently divided geographically in basic healthcare areas each one containing a primary healthcare team. Each team is multidisciplinary and typically includes GPs, community pediatricians, nurses, physiotherapists and social workers, together with ancillary staff. In urban areas all the services are concentrated in a single large building while in rural areas the main center is supported by smaller branches, typically single-handled. Becoming a GP in Spain involves studying medicine for six years, passing a competitive national exam called MIR and undergoing a four years training program. The training program includes core specialties as general medicine and general practice, pediatrics, gynecology, orthopedics and psychiatry. Shorter and optional placements in ENT, ophthalmology, ED, infectious diseases, rheumatology or others add up to the four years curriculum. The assessment is work-based and involves completing a logbook that ensures all the expected skills, abilities and aptitudes have been acquired by the end of the training period. United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, physicians wishing to become GPs take at least five years training after medical school, which is usually an undergraduate course of five to six years leading to the degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, according to Julian Tudor Hart. Before the mid-1960s, poor conditions and low expectations existed as GPs were taught entirely by specialists in hospitals. Back then GPs were men who had failed to become specialists and were unable to work in a hospital. Or as Lord Moran wrote in 1966, I was Dean of St. Mary's Hospital Medical School for 25 years. All the people of outstanding merit, with few exceptions, aimed to get on the staff. 
There was no other aim, and it was a ladder off which some of them fell. How can you say that the people who get to the top of the ladder are the same as the people who fall off it? It seems to me so ludicrous. Up until the year 2005, those wanting to become a general practitioner of medicine had to do a minimum of the following postgraduate training. One year as a pre-registration house officer, in which the trainee would usually spend six months on a general surgical ward and six months on a general medical ward in a hospital. Two years as a senior house officer, often on a general practice vocational training scheme in which the trainee would normally complete four, six-month jobs in hospital specialties such as obstetrics and gynecology pediatrics, geriatric medicine, accident and emergency or psychiatry. One year as a general practice registrar on a GPVTS. This process has changed under the program Modernizing Medical Careers. Medical practitioners graduating from 2005 onward have to do a minimum of five years postgraduate training, two years of foundation training in which the trainee will do a rotation around either six four-month jobs or eight three-month jobs. These include at least three months in general medicine and three months in general surgery, but will also include jobs in other areas. A three-year run-through GP specialty training program containing 18 months as a specialty registrar in which time the trainee completes a mixture of jobs in hospital specialties such as obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, geriatric medicine, accident and emergency or psychiatry, 18 months as a GP specialty registrar in general practice. The postgraduate qualification membership of the Royal College of General Practitioners was previously optional. In 2008 a requirement was introduced for doctors to succeed in the MRC GPU assessments in order to be issued with a certificate of completion of their specialty training in general practice. After passing the assessments, they are eligible to use the postnominal letters MRCGP. During the GP specialty training program, the medical practitioner must complete a variety of assessments in order to be allowed to practice independently as a GP. There is a knowledge-based exam with multiple choice questions called the Applied Knowledge Test. The practical examination takes the form of a simulated surgery in which the doctor is presented with 13 clinical cases and assessment is made of data gathering, interpersonal skills and clinical management. This clinical skills assessment is held on three or four occasions throughout the year and takes place at the renovated headquarters of the Royal College of General Practitioners at 30 Euston Square, London. Finally throughout the year the doctor must complete an electronic portfolio which is made up of case-based discussions, critique of videoed consultations and reflective entries into a learning log. In addition, many hold qualifications such as the DCHN, or the DRCOGN, or the DGH. Some general practitioners also hold the MRCP or other specialist qualifications, but generally only if they had a hospital career, or a career in another speciality, before training in general practice. There are many arrangements under which general practitioners can work in the UK, while the main career aim is becoming a principal or partner in a GP surgery, many become salaried or non-principal GPs work in hospitals in GP-led acute care units, or perform locum work. Whichever of these roles they fill, the vast majority of GPs receive most of their income from the National Health Service. Principals and partners in GP surgeries are self-employed, but they have contractual arrangements with the NHS which give them considerable predictability of income. Visits to GP surgeries are free in all countries of the United Kingdom, but charges for prescription-only medicine vary. Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland have abolished all charges. Recent reforms to the NHS have included changes to the GP contract.
General practitioners are now not required to work unsociable hours, and get paid to some extent according to their performance, e.g., numbers of patients treated, what treatments were administered, and the health of their catchment area, through the quality and outcomes framework. The IT system used for assessing their income based on these criteria is called QMAS. The amount that a GP can expect to earn does vary according to the location of their work and the health needs of the population that they serve. Within a couple of years of the new contract being introduced it became apparent that there were a few examples where the arrangements were outstep with what had been expected. A full-time self-employed GP, such as a GMS or PMS practice partner, might currently expect to earn a profit share of around £95,900 before tax while a GP employed by a CCG could expect to earn a salary in the range of £54,863 to £82,789. This can equate to an hourly rate of around £40 an hour for a GP partner. A survey by Ipsos Mori released in 2011 reports that 88% of adults in the UK trust doctors to tell the truth. Greece general practice was established as a medical specialty in Greece in 1986. To qualify as a general practitioner doctors in Greece are required to complete four years of vocational training after medical school, including three years and two months in a hospital setting. General practitioners in Greece may either work as private specialists or for the National Healthcare Service, ESY.